Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Valhalsia 3. I just shot you with a bunch of mana because I always forget this sword does that. But anyways, guys, welcome back. Last episode, uh, we had a fight over there somewhere. I I'm a bit lost, actually. Where was I? Maybe over there somewhere. Um, I found another village after that episode. Anyway, we had the boss battle. That's what I was saying. And yeah, we took him down, Baku or whatever his name was. I found this village, I've raided everything good out of it. And you know what guys, I am not ready for this adventure to end. We are miles from home, home is over there a long way. These guys are absolutely everywhere. Um, so, uh, over here guys, there are a few more cool things. Obviously we can check this out. There's like a jungle hut thing here, so yeah. I am think, um, what I'm gonna do is continue the adventure. Uh, my bags are all full. I have a few more spaces in here that I can put stuff. Most of these... Actually, I got some more wooden crates, didn't I? Ah, that's good. We still have space. We still have space to keep adventuring. So I would like to keep adventuring out in this direction. Uh, if we have a look at the map, we're over here. Um, and home is... Home is miles up here. So maybe to go home, we start heading this way and back up here. That could be an idea. Uh, that might be what I do, but I am having a great time out on the adventure. I'm not ready for it to end, so let's continue on. Let's jump down here. Um, jump across here. Uh, it's like weirdly raining here. I don't know what the heck's going on. Uh, let's see if there's any goodies here, my friends. There we go. We can get ourselves some iron. I don't know if these constellation things are any good. Do we use them for anything? I don't know, but I'm going to collect them. Collect them in- whoa, this one's got heaps of chests. What is this for? Astral Sorcery. We might, we might have to look into that. Man, there are so many things underwater here. Okay, uh, let's go and check out the Jungle Temple. Oh, we could almost get over here. I really need feather- not feather walking. What's it called? When we walk over the water, that'd be good. I'm sure there's something in Botania for that, actually. I haven't seen it, but I'm, I'm sure it exists. Alright. Uh, I think this is just a standard vanilla- Vanilla uh, thing here, which you meant to like solve the uh, the puzzles and things, but I usually just walk on in. Unless this thing, I can't see any string. Okay, there's string. Oh, it still shoots you anyway. Stupid thing. Uh, okay, there we go. Some redstone. There's a chest here. Some gold. Voice of God. I mean, that sounds pretty good, right? The voice of God. I mean, we got a bunch of cool stuff here. We definitely need the bones. Okay, there we go. That's cool. Oh, okay. No, get off that. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Okay. Uh, there's usually a secret. I've forgotten. I have not gone into one of these in so long. Where's the secret? It's under here or over here. You flip all these levers and then a door opens over here or something like that. There you go. There's the chest. Uh, just a bunch of bones, which we do actually need, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother with this redstone stuff, actually. Let's just leave it here. We can craft all that pretty easily. And okay, on to the next adventure, my friends. Into this strange green place. And I think I will need to check out the map again. Yeah, I need to start heading this way. So, let's head out this way. I don't want to go too much further away from home, so... Be careful. I need to watch out for those plants in here that attack you. What is this guy? It's a capuchin! Look at him! He's so damn cool. I wish I could bring him home with me somehow. I didn't bring my mob catcher. But anyways, let's uh, let's carry on for the adventure. Hopefully I'll find something cool soon. And I'll show you guys. Okay, I don't think we've seen this biome yet, have we? Have we? I have no idea, my friends. Let's go check it out. It's right next to one of these. What is this? Magic log. Yeah, I, r I really don't think we've seen this. That's extreme. That's very extreme. It looks like we've got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, this doesn't cut down all of that tree for some strange reason. Maybe that was not a tree somehow? Okay, we got some magical saplings. I think we should cut down some more of them. Are they like... Man, that is laggy. Are they all uh, different? Yeah, for some reason it doesn't chop them down if they don't have leaves. What's this purple one? This is the Jakarta log again. Okay, so hopefully that's enough saplings. 15. That's not enough for me. I want more. Just in case these are really important trees. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to get back here because... Um, obviously we have it on the map now, so... This is an interesting place. Mystic Grove. Very interesting. This is quite cool as well. They have the actual mushroom blocks here as well. Interesting. I don't know if there's anything else special in here. 
or if it's just these trees. But it's pretty cool. Okay, okay, we're fighting the Frostmore. He's massive. Uh, you know what? If we just stay up here, we should be fine. We're taking a lot of damage off him. And we can run really fast. It looks like he can't get up the hill. So we can just cheese this guy. That's how you win Minecraft bosses, guys. You just cheese him. Every single one of them. With your ranged sword, which makes... Oh, okay, he's up. Stay down there, my friend. Stay, stay down. It's, it's dangerous up here. Don't come up here. Yeah, I reckon we can actually take this guy down. That's good. I wonder what he drops, because I think he's quite a tough boss. So he should drop something good, right? Got him. Rude awakening. We got him. We got him. What did he drop? What is this? Uh, hold right click to channel icy whirlwind. Whoa. Okay. Can we can we try that out? Uh, shoot this at someone. I don't know how this works. But it looks pretty cool. Okay, cool. Wow. We fought that guy. That was uh, not that exciting, but, you know, we did it. Okay, so the Frostmore is beatable if you just uh, walk up a hill. He apparently can't get up the hill. I really do like these ice foxes. I need to find something to use this on. I can't kill another raccoon. O on camera, that is. Uh, okay, so you guys get... You guys will be sad. I've had a few comments saying people uh, people saying on an older video that the raccoon just wanted the food in my offhand, which is uh, true. But um, I thought he was attacking me at first. I, I didn't know what was going on. Uh, there's no raccoons in my country where I'm from. I don't know. Are they vicious? Who the heck knows, my friends? Okay, I'm trying to find my way home now. And uh, then we can get back on with doing some more... Uh, maybe Botania, maybe something else. I'm not entirely sure. Let's, uh, let's hit home. It's over there. Okay, I'm gonna go the long way around, but, um, yeah. Wait, what are these? Those- are these penguins? Have I seen penguins before? I don't know. I don't even know now, guys. I'm losing it. I think I have seen these guys before. They are so damn cute. I want a penguin. I want a pet penguin! Sorry, Mr. Yak, you are the test case. Okay, this thing seems pretty rubbish. Okay, but it keeps you away from me, at least. But it doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but... It seems to do okay. We can pick up some stuff here. Some beef or some yak here. Let's take the yak here with us and uh, return to base. Okay, night time again. Yeah, I'm, I'll see you guys back at the base unless we encounter anything else cool on the way home. Alrighty guys, we are finally home. It's a bit crazy here. It's a mess. It's it's absolute nonsense. But uh, yeah, we did bring all of our goodies home. We didn't die, so that's very good. We have our mana pool here filling up, and uh, we have this over here, which is keeping these uh, topped up as well. I've had to do a bit of like fixing up here. Oh, we need to get rid of this. Yeah, it's probably stopping a tree from going, growing there in the middle. Now we have a different setup. This is now going to get all the apples, because I think that's a food source, so we could probably use that in some way for making mana uh, off that uh, food flower that we will eventually use. Uh, all we have is this dropper here going round in circles, dropping um, the saplings right on top of these flowers, because I think they can only grab them in this really small area here, but then they can plant them in the not as, like, dark color that you're seeing. Um, on the little outline there, so I think that's what the problem was and it couldn't grab any of the saplings So it was running out like it couldn't grab these on the edge here. And what the heck? It's planting flowers all the way trees all the way down here on dirt Okay, well, let's make sure we just don't put any dirt down there from now on and we should be okay That is ridiculous. But anyway, that's all working. So that actually took quite a while to do We had to make some more runes and all sorts of things. But anyway moving on from that We have a bunch of goodies now that we can use uh, later on, but for today guys, I think what we should do is uh, move on to uh, Upping our energy cell thing here. So we have these mechanism ones here um, I'm currently using this power mod, which is pretty cool But I'm thinking of actually moving into flux networks now this can be used for like wireless power um, And you just put these flux points around and you can power anything which is pretty cool So I wasn't going to do that But I've just noticed this is absolutely full now because last episode I installed another one of these bio generators So it's making a lot of power and we can take this out now and use it and place something else in here So uh, let's get rid of that 
And uh, I want to start making some of this stuff. So what we need to do is take a redstone dust and some obsidian down to bedrock to start off with. So it's a bit weird. Um, obsidian, which we have. Let's just take um, some... In, in case we need more than that. And let's take a bunch of redstone dust with us. Um, we'll make ourselves a flux uh, block that we can use to make it up here. Rather than having to go and find the bedrock. But I'm going to go down to the bedrock now. And uh, we can try it out up there instead. Down there, I mean. What am I talking about up there? That is ridiculous. Come on, brain. Okay, we are down here. Now, from what I can see is you have a gap. And then you place some obsidian. You place down some red... Let's pick all these blocks up just quickly. Uh, you place down some redstone on there. And then you left click on this. Do we need an open hand? On the bedrock. Maybe it's because I got food in my off hand. Oh! My goodness, okay, that's how you do it. But that means I've got to pick this up again. Okay. This is why this takes so long. Okay, so we need to make a block of this and then we can do it ourselves. But this does not seem like an easy task. Is this really the best way to do it? That is just silly. I'm wondering if it does more than one. Oh, okay. You can do a lot at one time. I see. That's that that makes life a lot easier. So we can just do this whole double stack of uh, redstone here. Toss them both out on there. That one missed. How do I toss them out at the same place but one misses? You know, whatever. Okay, now we have the flux things. So the next step is to actually make a flux block. Okay, maybe it's only a four by four. Wait, how do you make a flux block? Okay, interesting. Let's type at flux for now. This is pretty much all the mod has. You don't need a lot to get this thing up. And, well, you need a lot of items to get it running. But uh, yeah, so flux. Okay, a flux block is made like that. And a flux core is made like that. Okay, we're going to need eyes of ender. Now I can get ender. I can get ender eyes. That's, that's no problem. But I'm going to have to go into the nether. Okay. Well, wish me luck, my friends. Let's go. I really should not have gotten rid of what I got rid of. I picked up that... I, I, my brain is not working, but basically, I want to say... Uh, let's switch this to this one. Make sure we pick up a block here. Place that back down. Okay, so let's just check. Now it should be on soap touch. Okay, very good. Place that back. We're going to use this to pick ourselves up a... Uh, hopefully... A blaze spawner. Now, I've already taken one out because I'm stupid. People in the comments were like, what are you doing? Do not take that out. You need that. And, you know, they were right. They were definitely right. I needed the spawner parts, but uh, I needed the uh, blaze spawner even more. So, okay, well, I guess I guess into the nether we go. I'm going to get more food. And, uh, okay, wish me luck. Okay, so we can fly. I'm going to put this on. And, oh man, there's so many things. Oh, there's so many of these wraith things. So many. I'm going to end up hurting myself, aren't I? These wraith things are so annoying. What are you? Mr. Goblin Trader? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I like you. I like you, my friend. I don't have anything to trade with you right now, but you're a good guy. You look terrifying, but you're a good guy. Okay, we can fly. I don't want to use up all my power, but I think we should fly off. Um, I need to find another temple because uh, that's where I'll find a blaze spawner. So let's go. Aha, we have found it. Hopefully we can get some skeleton skulls while we're here. That could be also very helpful. And we have a ranged weapon against these guys. That is nice. Okay, lots of blaze. Hopefully there's a spawner in one of these. Okay, this is going to get messy real quick if we're not careful. Man, these guys are insane. Okay, we should get him pretty quickly. Okay, we got him. We got us on fire. Yep, we're on fire, guys. We're taking a lot of fire damage here. Let's uh, retreat real quick. Put that fire out. Okay, we killed that guy at the back. Killed him. Oh, I ducked out too early. This is gonna go nuts. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna try and look for one, try and get it and get out real quick. The blaze seem to be spawning a lot here, so maybe there is a blaze spawner around here somewhere. 
Uh, there's a lot of blaze rods around here, which is good because we need them anyway. But I would like to get the uh, spawner itself. So let's try and find one. Okay, that guy came up. Nope, there doesn't appear to be one anywhere here. Okay, we can't move that fast while we're in the air, so we have to be careful. Oh, there's a... No, that's not a skull. That's just his head. That's the real guy's head. Okay, is there any here? Oh, okay, this is... This is not... Not going too well so far, my friends. We should start lighting this place up. Actually, I'm not sure that'll actually change anything. Look at my inventory. Right. Let's light this place up. It means we've been here, we've checked it all out, there's a chest here, very cool. And then we can move on to somewhere else. Nether brick chest, does this explode or something? Okay guys, I've found one, we need to get up in here and take it out real quick. I really hope this silk touch works. It's modded, it should work, let's see if we can pick it up. There we go! What, that broke? How did that break? No! I'm sure that can pick it up. Oh, that is so annoying. Maybe it didn't break. I don't know. I need to get in there. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, no, I don't think it did break. We're getting wrecked here, though. We really need to get out of here. Yes, we're very much on fire. Okay, I don't have any room for this thing. I, d I definitely don't need arrows. There we go. We got ourselves a spawner. And we got the blaze powder, and there's a spawner thing. Oh, you can get the spawner stuff even if you... Thing it, okay. Spawner scrap, I really needed that for something. Okay, you know what guys, I'm gonna fly home. I've got heaps of power left to fly home. And we now have a blaze spawner, so we can set ourselves up a little farm. But uh, yeah, okay, right, home, where is home? Any Anyone, where is home? It's over this way. Okay, let's just fly the heck out of here. I've had enough of this nonsense. We are getting out of here. What are you? And will you die, vulture? Okay, maybe the vulture. Oh, I got him. What? What is the point in all these mobs who don't drop anything? Oh, he did drop something. Was it just coal? Unbelievable. Okay, guys, so we are back home. A bunch of stuff on our map now, so we can make our way out there if we need to, to find anything again that we found today. But anyways, guys, I am thinking of setting up a spawner room here somewhere with the blaze. But uh, I was thinking maybe in here. How how wide is this? Um, it's there, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that is technically in the middle here. It's wide enough. We may be able to put it in here. That's definitely nine blocks that way. Okay, we may be able to stick it up in the roof area of this building and have a little staircase up to it and have them up there coming down. But there are a couple of things we're going to need to make in order to get this thing going. So we need to have a look in here and see what we need. So if we look in here, we're going to need to make vector plates. Um, fast vector plate, extreme vector plate. Um, okay, sugar, iron, and a normal vector plate. Okay, in order to make vector plates, we need sugar and a blank plate. Okay, blank plate is black dye. Oh. Is there an easier way? Uh, hmm. Is there an easier way to get black dye? Maybe we have a look here, see so if we can get black dye anyway. Elderwood. Okay, we've got wither rose, but I don't want to be going wasting them, do I? Oh, the mystical black pedal and a pistol. Yeah, okay, that is how we'll do it. Okay, that's cool. We're going to have vector plate. And there's also a player... Uh, let me just type plate, because there is something in here that deals damage like it's a player. So it'll get XP and everything like that. Uh, is it one of these? Something here somewhere. What is this? Dark, dark utilities. Okay, at dark utilities. Okay, here we go. One of these. Play a damage trap. Okay, how do we make one of them? A, a sword, a phantom membrane, and cyan die. Okay, well that's possible. We're just going to have to not sleep for a few nights, which is going to be very unnatural for me, but it is possible by the looks of it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to need lots of vector plates to push them around, and then we'll have that damaging them. Okay, very nice. We're going to need a hopper to pick up everything they drop. 
And I think that's pretty much it. We're going to need a dark room. So um, I'm going to try and not sleep for like four or five nights to get the uh, the phantoms to spawn. Then we can kill them and get the phantom membranes. I don't think there's any other way to get them. But uh, yeah, okay, I'll do my best. I'll start off building this room. We're also going to make this, want to make this like redstone controlled. So if I just type, type in spawner, special spawner, spawner scrap. Okay, I don't know what it's called. There's something... Uh, that makes the spawners be able to be controlled by redstone so you can turn them on and off by redstone I don't know how to do that though. So unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, figure that out and then get back onto that Okay, guys, let me build the room up get some phantom membranes and I'll hopefully be back with you pretty soon And uh, we should have a few things. It's gonna take so long if I'm not sleeping Okay, guys, so I have the little room set up. We can now smelt this up somewhere. Blast furnace, will this work in here? There we go, that'll do. Uh, we can need some electrum uh, to make this probe thing. So the room is set up, ready to go. I'll show you guys that in just a second. We're trying to make this here. Uh, what do we need for this? We need some more iron dust and we need some green dye. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of dye and such uh, to make this probe thing. So uh cactus do i have cactus i think i've got cactus the barrel cactus i don't have the big cactus that is insane okay well i'll have to get uh green dye over here then uh another way with all my botania stuff do we have tall lime green mystical green i have this and then i guess this flower bag flower bag should have green in it there we go green flower turn this into these and then we can plant a bunch of these around and bone meal the heck out of it. So we should have a decent amount of bone stuff now. So we have 71 bones and uh, 71 bone blocks, which is very helpful. That's a lot of bone meal. Uh, we're also going to need shears, uh, which I will grab. And we're going to need to make a bunch of the black dye as well. So I might as well grab some of those if we have any. There doesn't appear to be any of the black ones here either. So let's make a silly amount of these things and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, we're still waiting. This is the second night, I believe, maybe third. I'm not too sure. We're still waiting for those guys. But anyway, what we're going to do is make ourselves a little tube here. This is the room up here. We're going to jump up here. It's a bit echoey in here because it's a big open room. Uh, we're going to bring this down here. And then maybe you have a drop, and then we drop them onto here. So we probably want glass here, here, and here, maybe. Uh, there, there, and there. And then just some slab. I mean, we can put glass again right there. And then we'll just slab this one up. I mean, maybe we bring it all the way down to the bottom? Maybe. Um, I can still get to this stuff if I do that, so... Um... Anyway, for, for now, that's where it is. I, I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> Only a few more days now until we get the phantoms, and then hopefully we can uh, get the membranes. Uh, anyway, right, oh, back over here. Back over here. Should be able to make this now. Uh, should be glass. Light, or uh, frame, framed glass. I think it can be any grass, glass. Uh, the nickel plate, which went here. I think it was redstone. And thing, there we go. Oh, okay, right, we're getting there now. Now we can put you in, you in, and you in, and we should be able to take you out. Aha, we have what we need now. Okay, now we can go back to a crafting table and craft up the probe. I believe we should have everything in here now. There we go, go like this. There we go. Okay, the probe. All right, now we need to go up there. We need to put this on. Uh, I've just doubled my Terra Blade somehow. Please don't do that. That is very annoying. There we go. Okay. I don't want two Terra Blades. That would be a bit silly. Um, right. So there is a little walkway around the back. Doesn't look too good, but we'll uh, we'll make this all a lot better later on anyway. That's what I always say anyway, my friends. All right. Let's go up in here. We should be able to dig our way in here. And... These light levels are pretty much not going to matter, so what I'm going to do is actually take them out now. Oh, no, we do not want to do that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's not going to make any difference once I put this in. So I go like this, then I go like this. Now, it does not work unless we turn it on. Then that thing keeps spinning. And right now, it's being frozen, so that is fantastic. Nothing should spawn in here now. 
Uh, so the plan is to get those uh, pads going now. Why is this in here? Uh, everything looks fine, I think. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, what we need to do now is make those pads that move them into that middle bit and drop them into that center bit where we can attack them. Look, you. You guy. Give me the bones. Give me the bones. I need the bones. We always need the bones, my friends. And that is now all in. It actually took a lot more than I thought. But if we just go in here, I am not touching my keyboard, guys. Let's uh, let's just put ourselves in the corner here. I'm not touching my keyboard. It's gonna drag me, drag me to the middle, and then put me down there. I don't want to go down there though. Uh, you can you can hold shift so you don't move on these things. So that's pretty helpful. Obviously, I'm gonna need to take this torch up before we finish in here. But uh, for now, I have to wait for the phantoms. It's going night again, so hopefully it's this night. But I'm pretty sure I need to wait another whole day. While that's going on, my friends, what were we actually getting the blaze stuff for? Oh, yes, we wanted to make more power, didn't we? So uh, we wanted something. We wanted the at. What is the mod called? Uh, let's just type in point because I know it has a point in it. There we go. It is uh, flux networks. There we go. So let's go at flux networks. This is what we wanted. So we were starting to make these sort of things, the flux blocks. And we needed to make the flux cores and we needed the eye of enders, which take up blaze powder. So we should now have a bunch of this blaze powder because we went to the nether. We actually got some while we were there. Uh, now we need the ender, the eyes of ender, ender eyes, ender pearls. Uh, so I need to go down and speak to my villager friends. So I might as well do some trading and upgrading of my villagers. Uh, get some weakness potions and turn them into, turn them into, uh, yeah, you guys know what, what I need to do. I need to lower the prices of them so that we can trade more stuff with them better. Because currently, it's kind of not that good. But, uh, yeah, okay, looking good, guys, looking good. Let's get some ender pearls from this guy over here. We just need to get some emeralds, trade for this guy, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I need to level that guy up as well. So I need to get another, I need to get another... Yeah, I've set this all up, so I need to get some more zombies down here. Okay, right, let's do that. I got a lot of off-camera work to do, but I'll see you guys very soon. Aha, it's finally time. Get out of here, you freaks. Okay, they do a little bit of damage. We need to make sure we get as many of these as we can, so I don't ever have to do this again. Because if I ever need to make these things again... There we go, did you drop any? Yes. Okay, that's one. Put these here so we can see how many we've got. Okay, there's you. I'm gonna get you. Come up, come on. Come down. Come and get me. You freak. Oh, we better keep eating because these guys can't actually do a decent amount of damage. Come on, mate. Come come and get me. What are you doing up there? It's a lovely, lovely day today, my friends. Now we only ended up with one phantom membrane, and I killed about six of them. So I don't know what's happening there. Maybe I need to actually melee them or something. I feel like the drop rate should be a little higher than that, but maybe maybe it's not. I just got lucky on the first one. Anyway, we can now make the plate that we need to make. So it's... Let's just type in plate for now and see if... No, it's in dark utilities. It doesn't seem to come up when I do that unless I'm blind, which is possible. In fact, it's probable. Right, here we go. We can make the player damage trap, which is pretty good, actually. It makes uh, three of them. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I can't sleep because I want to try another night in case we need more phantom membranes later on. And I don't I, I don't ever want to have to do this, to be honest. To be uh, sleeping and such. Not be sleeping. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's place this down here. Now that should kill them when they come down here and all the loot should go into this chest. Uh, I've moved it back here, guys, because in the middle of the room, that was just silly. So if we uh, hit around here, I do apologize for the rain sounds. You know what? Let's uh, Let's just turn that down. Because these blazes are going to be loud anyway. All right, let's head around the back to our makeshift staircase here. Head up over here. And as you can see, changed all of the things down here. So what we need to do is hold shift. Get rid of you. Uh, why is it still light in here? This seems really light. I don't think it matters because the blaze just spawn um, in pretty much all light settings. But let's, uh, let's turn that. And we should get some blaze spawning in here. Anytime now. I mean, should I just close this up and go downstairs? Let's give it a go. Close that up. Maybe this roof lets in the light. I might have to do something about that. But let's uh, let's find out. Let's head around here and into here. Can't hear any blaze. Uh, down here, we should be close enough to it. Yeah, we're we're definitely close enough. But why is nothing spawning? Just oh, I hear them. Okay, here they come, and they're getting damaged. They drop down, and they're killed. Okay. 
and it drops XP because this is like a player killing it. So we can just come here whenever we want, grab some XP. Um, I might make a little AFK area here. Um, also, this building is not completely finished, is it? Because of this corner here. But yeah, it's kind of finished. So it is, it is working. It might be very slow, but we're going to get blaze rods over time, which is nice. So that is fantastic. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Oh, I shot Mana at you again. Bye!